News Channel 15 presents The Film Reel, a talk show where we discuss everything going on in the world of movies and television with hosts Bryce West and Ian Klingler. This is The Film Reel. Welcome back into the Film Reel, your number one source for movie and TV news here on News Channel 15, as or should I say, the talk show, where we talk about everything going on in movie and television. I am Bryce West here with Ian Klingler. Welcome back. Thank and you. We are going to go straight into the box office results for last weekend. Coming in at number one, no surprise, there is Tenet, the highly anticipated movie by Christopher Nolan, uh, comes in at $20 million. So... Obviously, this movie has been trying to come out for, for, for a while, <laughs> well, uh, yes. to say the least. Obviously, uh, it was supposed to come out right around whenever the COVID-19 pandemic started picking up. Yeah. And then everything got shut down. And so, <laughs> and then it got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed until finally they just decided that last weekend was the, was the time. So, yep. so, Ian, what are your thoughts on Tenet finally being able to grace uh, movie theaters? Well, I think that it's, you know, I'm glad that it's finally released. And I think they, the people at Warner Brothers thought that, you know, finally we can release this. And there was really no other competition. It was, you know, because... Yeah, because I mean, the new, theaters, mutants, new Mutants came out, but it's... I mean, with everything that, that went on behind the scenes, I don't think people have really been too enthusiastic to go right. see New Mutants. I feel like Tenet is definitely the first big blockbuster that is supposed to be trying to opening uh, the, these theaters back up. Right. Because, I mean, it has generally good reviews. It's got around a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, whereas New Mutants, is, I believe, is in the 30s. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, obviously... There's the difference there. So greater reviews means that more people are more inclined to go see it because, I mean, you can, you can say what you want about Rotten Tomatoes, but the fact of the matter is is that if people see that the movie is getting negative reviews, that means it's probably less likely that they're going to go see it. Right. So with Tenet having better reviews, it, it was more likely that they were going to go see Tenet over New Mutants, which is obviously the case because Tenet has definitely outperformed New Mutants not only in th this weekend, but also the weekend that New Mutants opened. I believe it only grossed around 13 million. That's what I, I, I th believe. I think yeah. the uh, the weekend that it opened. So, so yeah, that was definitely one of those deals. So, uh, coming out this weekend, uh, a, a new movie uh, starring Will Wheaton, Rent Rent a Pal, is coming out. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hi, I'm Andy. Thanks for being here today. Well, let's cut to the chase. I'm here to be your friend. Will Wheaton stars as an unusual friend in Rent-A-Pal. I mean, I gotta be honest with you here. I have been waiting for this moment for what feels like forever. My favorite Gosh, I am just component of this entire picture is the uncertainty about Andy's reality. Set in 1990, a lonely single man using a videotape dating service, a Tinder forerunner, if you will, stumbles upon a Rent-A-Pal video, which may be more than it seems. It was me and a camera. That was it. Uh, I was alone on the set, and we filmed it just like we, you know, would have filmed it if I were actually an actor doing a Rent-A-Pal video. That's Acting weird. to a camera was familiar for Wheaton. It wasn't weird. Uh, it was actually very comfortable. It was squarely within my comfort zone because I do a ton of work narrating audiobooks. I spend a lot of time alone with the material. I host a lot of things, so I spend a lot of time with a single camera by myself. Hey, this is a little weird for me, too. I've never done this either, so it's totally new for me. It's new for both of us. Watching with the lights on in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Interesting to see Will Wheaton come to the big <laughs> screen there. Uh, so obviously Will Wheaton is best known for his work on Star Trek The Next Generation as Wesley Crusher. And he also uh, uh, was a major recurring character on The Big Bang Theory as Will Wheaton. Uh, so, so it's definitely interesting to see him take a, a sort of different role there. It's definitely not a role that I believe he's played before. It's definitely interesting to see him... Uh, kind of change things up a little bit here. Yeah, and, and this is, I think this is kind of a one place where you could say, you know, this is perfect for Will Wheaton. You know, it's an infomercial, kind of a VHS, old school, and I think he kind of fits that bill yeah. as kind of saying, hey, 
welcome to this 90s little hip thing, you know, yeah. kind of like a child's thing. And I was like, man, that looks, you know, that's perfect. For I mean, sure, hits. Yeah. it fits the part really well. And, of course, in those kinds of deals, there's a twist. And so I just, I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of twist he puts into uh, this movie. All right, with that being said, now there is, believe it or not, there's not a lot going on in the world. I mean, things are starting to open back up, but there is stuff going on in Hollywood, which means that we're going to go to our Hollywood Minute with David Daniel. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Nev Campbell is ready for another scream. The actress is set to return as Sidney Prescott in the relaunch of the Scream franchise. Co-stars Courtney Cox and David Arquette are also returning to join a new generation of suspects and victims. The fifth Scream movie is due out in January of 2022. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. Tenet topped the box office without playing Tinseltown. Warner Brothers wasn't showing the film even at drive-ins in markets like Los Angeles where indoor theaters were closed due to the coronavirus. But theaters in nearby Orange County and San Diego have opened, so the studio has reversed course. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Tenet will begin playing at some L.A. drive-ins this weekend. No laptops, no phones, no connecting to anything. Thank you. A couple seeking an unplugged week disconnects from the world, so they're late to realize aliens have invaded the Earth, even if they are cute furry aliens. John Reynolds and Sunita Mani star in the comedy Save Yourselves, which lands in theaters October 2nd and on digital October 6th. Constantly checking my phone in Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Definitely a wide a variety of uh, films there. Definitely the highlight story there was, of course, Scream 5 with the original, uh, some, a lot of the original cast members coming back. Ian, what are your thoughts on that? I think this is a perfect reunion. I mean, Scream is kind of one of the most beloved horror films, sure, you yeah. know, kind of this Friday the 13th and kind of that style. So having these actors from where they originally started in Scream coming back for the fifth one, I think is just an excellent idea. I could not agree more. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with some more right after this. The tri-state source for alternative rock is 89.1 The Bash. Connect with us wherever you are on social. Listen live on our free mobile apps, online or on TuneIn. We are today's hit alternative, 89.1 The Bash. It just <laughs> takes a moment to spread from one person to another. So how do you break the germ cycle? Wash your hands often and always after <laughs> coughing, sneezing, handling food, and going to the bathroom. Lather the front, back, and in between for at least 20 seconds. If there's no soap or water available, use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Regularly disinfect common surfaces, including your phone. These small things can help break the germ cycle. Here in Southern Illinois, we all know the weather can change in an instant. When severe weather strikes, you can count on the team at News Channel 15 to provide you the latest information to keep you and your family safe. From watches and warnings to storm spotter information with our direct link to the National Weather Service, the team at News Channel 15 is here to give you the most up-to-the-minute severe weather coverage, not only on air, but also online and on our Facebook page. News Channel 15, putting Southern Illinois first. Support provided by MotoRad, hosting a hiring event this weekend at its Mount Carmel, Illinois location. Those interested in full or part-time team member positions are invited to stop by 916 Empire Street in Mount Carmel Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. or Saturday from 9 to 2. You can apply and be interviewed all on the same day. MotoRad is hiring day and night shift positions earning up to $18 per hour. Sign-on and referral bonuses are also offered and positions also include a competitive and comprehensive benefits package. That's the MotoRad hiring event this weekend. Welcome back into the Film Reel, the talk show where we talk about everything going on in the world of movies and television. To start off this second segment here, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air is back. It's coming back on HBO Max with their reunion special, with the majority of the original cast coming back, including the original actress who played Aunt Viv, who is replaced, I believe, 
uh, near the end of the show's run, and then uh, she was replaced with uh, different actors. But the original actress is actually coming back for this reunion, despite all uh, of the behind-the-scenes drama that went on with the original run. So, Ian, what are your thoughts on the first Prince of Bel-Air coming back for a reunion special on HBO Max? Oh, well, uh, I've always been a big fan of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I mean, that's something I, I grew up and I watched. And so, I mean, this is, I, I'm ecstatic for this. Not only for it to be on HBO Max, but to have all the original cast. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that's, that was just, definitely I, that's, that's amazing. Cool to see, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in some other TV news, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they're back on set. <laughs> <laughs> they're filming has resumed, uh, I believe, in Atlanta, uh, and because that's where they film all the Marvel movies. So mm -hmm. I assume that they're, they've been filming, unless I'm incorrect, I, I believe they're, they're in Atlanta. Maybe. But I, otherwise than that, they might be in Vancouver. I don't know. But, but wherever <laughs> anyway. they're at, they've resumed. <laughs> they're, they've resumed filming, which means that we probably will hopefully get to see something <laughs> with this show here soon. Uh, I believe the show was originally supposed to be out already. It was supposed to come out this, uh, around, around this time. Yeah. Uh, this year, obviously. And obviously that did not get to happen because of the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID. So hopefully we will be able to have a early 2021 release for this uh, series. So, Ian, what are your thoughts on Falcon and Winter Soldier resuming filming? Are you excited to see the show? Yeah, I'm excited to see the show. It's kind of to see what happens after, you know, Captain America passes the torch. But I think this is also a big thing for Marvel Studios because they have already finished Black Widow, so all they were waiting for was the green light to release, release it in the films. Other than that, I mean, nothing really was – there was little to no filming of other shows. And so getting Captain uh, – or, sorry, Falcon and the Winter Soldier back – I think this kind of sets the course back into, okay, Marvel Studios is going to start recording, you know, their, sh their kind of shows or movies that they want to try and accomplish. Yeah, and I don't believe we have any word on the other shows like WandaVision and, yeah. and their other live action projects that are supposed to be filming. Uh, I, I think it was just... Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision that were supposed to be filming at this time because Loki doesn't wasn't supposed to come what, out for right. another while and same with Hawkeye and then there are other shows that they had announced. So, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see when they actually are able to get around to releasing this thing. Obviously, the, the re releasing won't be the problem. It's right. it's it was filming it and so because it's a streaming show, so they can release it tomorrow. Right. Obviously, <laughs> but they could they could release it tomorrow and people would still go watch it. Right. So. Uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier to come out and uh, pumped to see that they are back filming again. With that being said, we're going to take another quick break, and Alec Vaughn is uh, in the house with his uh, top five film, or uh, excuse me, top ten, ten. Film, films of all time right after this. Channel 15 is now available on the Roku and Apple TV smart devices. Log on to Facebook.com slash My15News to learn more. So what's your story? Looking for a cost-effective way to begin your college career? One that's close to home? Or are you still unsure of a career direction? Here's the answer. The four Illinois Eastern Community Colleges. With 100 certificate and associate degrees in career and technical fields, many online and many transferable. Frontier Community, Lincoln Trail, Alney Central, Wabash Valley. Four colleges, one mission. Let us help write your life story. Check us out online at iecc.edu. I didn't want to go to community college because it was too small, too limiting. I wanted a place where I could expand my horizons and gain experiences for a strong future. Where I could meet people from other places and learn about them. The college choice that meant a strong start, not huge debt. Where I would have the support I needed. Where teachers knew my name and worked with me on a personal level. And people were ready and available to help me plan my future. That's why I choose my community college!
Welcome here to the Film Reel. I'm Alec Vaughn, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite movies of all time. And this was a really hard list to come by because I really love movies. I'm a big movie person. So uh, if there's not some uh, movies on here that uh, you think I like, I'll have some honorable mentions here in a minute. But anyway, let's get started. All right, number 10, we have Die Hard. All right, when I first watched Die Hard, uh, I was in seventh grade when I watched it, and ever since then, I really became in love with it. I really love, like, the sets. I really love the technology of it, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty violent movie, and it really started, like, a whole uh, genre of movies. Like, uh, for example, uh, Speed, that became Die Hard, like, on the highway, and White House Down is, like, Die Hard in the White House. <laughs> And so it really started a whole uh, different thing of movies. Now we got number nine, Goldfinger. Uh, Goldfinger is one of my favorite James Bond movies. Uh, Sean Connery is phenomenal at James Bond. He's one of my favorite James Bond actors. Uh, and uh, Gert Frobe does a really good job playing uh, Goldfinger. And uh, he's a really despicable character. And he's a really good movie villain. And... Uh, yeah, that's all I got for that one. And at number eight, we have Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia is one of my favorite history slash war movies. Uh, it took five years to make, and uh, those five years were definitely worth it for the movie. Uh, Peter O'Toole is phenomenal as T.E. Lawrence, uh, who uh, helps uh, the British uh, fight the Ottoman Empire during World War I. And, and it has really good desert scenes and really good train scenes. And uh, my favorite mo scene in the movie is when uh, you see first see Lawrence. Uh, uh, he's in the he's talking to his friends, and he has a little match, and he puts out the match with just his fingers. And uh, he says the trick is to not minding that it hurts, and that's a really good scene. All right, now moving on to number seven, we have The Shining. Uh, it's one of my top five, you could say, of uh, favorite horror movies. Uh, Jack Nicholson is phenomenal as uh, the father in the movie. Uh, uh, he becomes uh, a recovering alcoholic, and uh, him and his uh, wife and his child uh, go up to the Rocky Mountains and stay the whole winter. And uh, during that long period of time, he, he starts to have cabin fever, and uh, he uh, gets talked into these ghosts to try and kill his family. And it's a great showdown at the end when uh, he goes mad and tries to kill his family. And uh, the most memorable scene in the movie is when uh, he goes into uh, his wife's bedroom and chops down the door with his axe and says, here's Johnny. And that's like one of the top 100 best movie quotes you could say of film. And uh, moving on to number six, we have The Exorcist, uh, another one of my favorite horror movies. Uh, the Exorcist uh, is a really terrifying movie for 1973 standards. Uh, the makeup uh, effects are awesome for 1973. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, the late great uh, uh, Max von Steifau, uh is the priest uh, who tries to uh, get the demon out of the child at the end of the movie. And he does a phenomenal job of it. And it's a great uh, showdown at the end of the movie. And at number five, we have Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. I've watched it a hundred times, so I've never gotten bored of it. Uh, the dialogue is great. And, uh, and my favorite quotes of the movie are when Samuel Jackson and John Travolta are in a car, and they're talking about uh, McDonald's in France and how you can order a beer in France. And... And uh, the Big Mac's the Big Mac, but they call it the La Big Mac. And uh, they call a quarter pound with cheese a Royale with cheese. <laughs> so there's a lot of good uh, lines in the movie. Yeah, I also like the ending of the movie where Samuel Jackson's holding... Uh, well, well, let me rephrase that. There's this couple, and they're robbing a restaurant. And Samuel Jackson uh, points the gun to him. And uh, he tries uh, to convince uh, Tim Roth... Uh, that uh, to give him his money uh, and uh, yeah it's just a great overall movie and at number four we have Ben-Hur 
Ben Hur is one of my favorite uh, uh, history movies. Uh, it's set around the time of Jesus Christ, during the times. It's about a man, uh, Judah Ben Hur, who lives in Jerusalem, and uh, he gets betrayed by his uh, longtime best friend, and uh, he he gets uh, put on a slave ship and is like a, a slave roarer until he saves the constable's life, and then he tries to get revenge on the person who betrayed him, and, that, and uh, it involves a chariot race, and the chariot race is one of the best scenes in film history. And at number three, we have Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of my favorite Indiana Jones movies. It's my favorite out of the four. Harrison Ford is phenomenal as Indiana Jones, and uh, he goes on the uh, his quest to get the Ark of the Covenant, and uh, he goes on a wild goose chase against the Nazis to try to get the Ark, and the special effects are phenomenal uh, as for 1981. The acting is great, the characters are memorable, and uh, you get, and uh, I love the map scenes in the movies where uh, there's this one red line, and it goes across the globe. It's a really neat map. And yeah. Uh, and at number two, we have Citizen Kane. Uh, when I first watched Citizen Kane, I was in uh, high school. And when I first w watched it, I was thinking to myself, show me what you've got, greatest movie of all time. And it really disappointed to me. I've watched it uh, hundreds of times and never gotten bored of it. Uh, the character, uh, Orson Welles is a great as uh, Charles Foster Kane. There's a lot of memorable lines in the movie. Uh, and at the end of the movie, uh, it's found out that Rosebud is the sled that uh, Citizen Kane uh, had when he was little. And that's the only childhood memory he had until uh, he left his home and went on to uh, being rich. And uh, yeah. And at number one, we have the original Star Wars trilogy. Star Wars has always been a big factor for me when I was a kid. Uh, it's something I've loved ever since I was little. And ever since I could remember, I've loved Star Wars. I loved uh, the characters. I loved the plot. I loved the special effects, and etc. Uh, yeah, and I'd say my favorite one out of the trilogy is The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back is, uh, is a great movie. It's a great uh, re revenge movie. It's, very, it's more darker than A New Hope. And I guess that's something I like. Uh, Return of the Jedi is also good, too. Uh, I like uh, the special effects in Return of the Jedi. I love the Battle of Endor. I love the spaceship battles. And, uh, yeah, and as for A New Hope, I really like A New Hope. A New Hope really started uh, something big uh, for a film with, in terms of sci-fi and, uh, and uh, adventure and uh, uh and uh, special effects, and uh, we can learn a lot from Star Wars. Star Wars uh, follows a lot from uh, old storylines, and and it follows a lot from history too. And uh, I can't say enough. It's just Star Wars, and that's going to do it for me here. I'm Alec Vaughn. I'll see you later. I cannot agree more. That was that was quite the great list. I'm not going to lie. It definitely. I, I gotta agree with the uh, the Star Wars films up on top. They're 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 instant classics right there. You can't you can't go wrong with the original trilogy of Star Wars. So uh, some uh, some new movies are actually still coming out, of course, and we've actually got the trailer to the new film Dune. Let's take a look. What did you see? There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box and you die. What's in the box? Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. 
something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Arrakis is a death trap. I'll kill him. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, a legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. The future, I can see it. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Go, go, go! Well, that was a look at Dune, the reboot of the original, and what an amazing cast they have there. That is just incredible. Well, with that being said, we are going to wrap things up here on the film reel. This has been a, a great episode, I think. So, so with that being said, I'm Bryce West. This is Ian Klingler. Have a good night. The tri-state source for alternative rock is 89.1 The Bash. Connect with us wherever you are on social. Long ago, it swept away. Used to sway. Listen live on our free mobile apps, online or on TuneIn. We are today's hit alternative, 89.1 The Bash. It just <laughs> takes a moment to spread from one person to another. So how do you break the germ cycle? Wash your hands often and always after <laughs> coughing, sneezing, handling food, and going to the bathroom. Lather the front, back, and in between for at least 20 seconds. If there's no soap or water available, use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Regularly disinfect common surfaces, including your phone. These small things can help break the germ cycle. Here in Southern Illinois, we all know the weather can change in an instant. When severe weather strikes, you can count on the team at News Channel 15 to provide you the latest information to keep you and your family safe. From watches and warnings to storm spotter information with our direct link to the National Weather Service, the team at News Channel 15 is here to give you the most up-to-the-minute severe weather coverage, not only on air, but also online and on our Facebook page. News Channel 15, putting Southern Illinois first. Support provided by MotoRad, hosting a hiring event this weekend at its Mount Carmel, Illinois location. Those interested in full or part-time team member positions are invited to stop by 916 Empire Street in Mount Carmel Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. or Saturday from 9 to 2. You can apply and be interviewed all on the same day. MotoRad is hiring day and night shift positions, earning up to $18 per hour. Sign-on and referral bonuses are also offered, and positions also include a competitive and comprehensive benefits package. That's the MotoRad hiring event this weekend.